somebody that feel pain. Yeah, yeah. Who can pose? 
it it was it was kind of a surprise um i i didn't ruin it i just found out what it was but you will never guess i'm so excited look at it's a tiny house we're staying at a tiny home for a few days for my birthday <laughs> um it's so beautiful here i'll turn the camera around soon but i just want to show you guys inside and it is cold we're like two hours away from boston two hours north and it's so much colder here okay so i'm inside now and this tiny house is amazing the owners are super nice um they left us a note and they wished me a happy birthday they gave us a bottle of wine and some treats we have some assorted chocolates and a trail mix blend so that was very very sweet of them um so yeah i'm in the tiny home i'll turn the camera around and show you guys but i'm so excited oh, it's so cold here but i i can't wait to go out and just explore the property it's a pretty um decent sized property so we're gonna go explore luckily like the bears are hibernating so um let me just open the door it's so cute in here i like we came here because this is the part of our like journey to getting our own tiny home. Part of our research is actually staying in a tiny home. So this will be our first tiny home that we're ever staying in. So it's definitely going to have an impact on us. Definitely going to be one we remember. Also because it's my birthday. It's my 25th birthday, which is like a kind of a milestone birthday. It's a quarter century. So... Um, it's definitely something to celebrate. Every birthday is. And, you know, I'm not really one to want, like, I don't, a big celebration. And so having this getaway is perfect. I do wish I could have brought my dogs, but that's okay. It's good to be away from them sometimes. Um, but it's just so beautiful here. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. So <laughs> this is the porch here. And actually the snow is covering it, but they have a beautiful fireplace somewhere over here. Um, so now let me show you the living room. We have a cute little couch, which I'm not sure if it pulls out and can turn. I think so, cause they have extra um, linens. And look at how cute they have birch trees on the wall. The aesthetic in here is so nice and I like how it's like consistent throughout. They have some feathers, looks like maybe hawk feathers. Um, very nice. And they have some things throughout the tiny home that they've collected on their travels, which I think is really cool. Adds some character to the house. We have the kitchen. Which before the kitchen, I'm actually gonna show you all this storage that they have. It's a really good amount of storage. I know a lot of people say that when they have tiny homes. So these cabinets go as deep as the stair. So it's almost like my arms, one of my arms length. They have a microwave, a nice, I think apartment sized fridge. Um, so this is all the food we brought. We also have some food that we put in the freezer okay so now for the kitchen i'm in the kitchen this is a pantry cabinet very deep sink this is so important in a tiny home especially when you don't have a dishwasher to be able to wash like pots and pans um and then we have the um what is this called what are they called the induction cooktop so the stairs have this birch tree um, aesthetic which is really cool because it reflects the area um, you know and yeah it also continues on until the bedroom look at how well lit it is here it's super warm how thick is the mattress we have at home we have all these cute signs um, throughout the house that says like watch your head which is very helpful. And there's even a bar here to help you get down, 
which I thought was really nice. That was in right here also. Very nice touch. He can't be bothered right now. He's <laughs> one more minute. Oh, one more minute. Yeah, sure. And then they also have a sign in the bathroom because I did use the bathroom and I'm like, where's the toilet paper? But look, toilet paper. How cute is that? So cute. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the tiny home. We are going to now enjoy it. Um, we brought, I think we brought some games. Oh, no, we didn't. We left them, but we're just gonna chill out, make something to eat, and um, go exploring tomorrow because tomorrow's my birthday. So, bye. I am not taking any picture no, right now. I'm, I'm not talking. I'm talking for Instagram. It doesn't have to be a fuss. I'm not taking any picture right now. Oh, you like this one? I can post this one, right? Ew! <laughs> There's so many games to play. We're gonna play some games, some cards, and maybe do a little workout. I also brought some exercise bands. So we're gonna try and do a little workout. He said he feels so cozy. He feels at home. You feel at home? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> this is our new home for the next two days. So getting cozy. I'm gonna chill out for a minute over here. Watch some of YouTube, some of our favorite vloggers. Um, Spencer's vlog. We'll be on that list for sure. They have great content. Also, the Navajo Mama. I love her videos. She's so positive and cheerful. So I'll be watching some of that. No days off. Hashtag no days off. Let's go. How many are you doing? Tell the people. 100 a day. 100 a day. You gotta start somewhere, I guess. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I literally just tried to do one and I couldn't. So look at this smart pan. We so don't have a mixing, mixing bowl, bowl. So I figured we're gonna eat all this salad in the time that we're here. And because if you watched our previous video of our Trader Joe's haul, um, I said that the, the kale and the cabbage really doesn't get soggy. So you can meal prep it. So I just poured some dressing into the bag. And shake it up. So the ski resorts and snow tubing on it, all that's closed. So we got this sled from Walmart. Hold on, here I go. Um, this is like a nine acre property so they had they made like a little pathway and oh I think we should bring the reflective vest because I think it's hunting season um, but anyway they built this little like house I don't know if it's for a squirrel but it's like it's in the tree in the bottom of the tree so we're gonna go on kind of a, a little scavenger hunt to try and find it 
I hope we're successful because there's a lot of snow on the ground. Um, and so I hope it's not covering the little house, but we'll see and you'll soon find out. This is great fire accelerant. Um, even when it's wet birch bark, it is very flammable. So natural gasoline. So you can see people have been picking at it to start their fires. Um, so a little fun fact, good fire starter. We're going on a little walk right now. Do you think it's these big rocks? Yeah. That they're talking about? Earlier we tried to find well, the trail. There's, there's more than one trail, so well, there's rocks over there too. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, there's the rocks, both sides. So oh. we're just gonna go straight. And we're gonna this look. This a work all by itself. Yeah, we're going uphill. See? And the snow is deep. The, the snow is like maybe eight inches. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go for this on this hike. So, found some bear tracks. About oh this my god, that's bigger a, than my hand. That's a big bear. So guess what? I guess our hiking has come to a end. It's not fresh, but it just recently yeah, snowed. Yeah, it just snowed last night. So, so this good. means there's bears roaming around, and I don't want to be a fresh meal. So, let's go. Yeah. So we were on our hike and we saw bear tracks that looked pretty fresh. And um, she ran home. Yeah, I was scared. Yeah. We're both <laughs> but you know what? Because sometimes they do wake up from hibernation to like snack. So I think I found a cedar tree and I am about to go harvest some good medicine. I hope it's a cedar tree. Hold on, I'm just gonna listen because, you know, I did see bear tracks earlier. And like I said, they'd be waking up for a quick little nibble. So I wanna make sure I'm alone. So we've been outside for like probably two hours steady, but then in and out for like maybe three. And this thermos, this outdoor one gallon thermos has kept our tea hot like let me just open this for a second hold this camera up just like this oh perfect don't move oh wait look at how i mean it has a handle it's bigger than me you can't see it. I can see it. It's mm -hmm. not that cold. That's, but mm, you see, it's not that kinda, hot. It's not. The tea wasn't that hot when it came, <laughs> when it got in there, but you get the point. It was actually it was warm when it got in. It was warm when it got in, but it's still at that same temperature. Look at this. Like, you can hold it like sideways. You, it's like, it's so perfect. We're gonna go inside now and get this party started. Woo woo. We got cupcakes because oh. it's my birthday. Oh, I totally forgot it's your birthday. Oh my god. <laughs> look at how cute. Oh my god, look at my little tiny home. I wish. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh my god. I could have done without that. <laughs> Who is that? That's Auntie Na. Oh my god. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> There's more? Uncle Troy and Kayla. Oh, 
their dogs barking. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad that everyone is still singing like how we normally would. <laughs> like you would think they would just sing regular. Oh, Daria. Oh, she's so sweet. From Nina. Why she have a mask on in her house? <laughs> I have no idea. Glenn. Oh my god, that's the boat. <laughs> You're so weird. I know, like, no normal singing. Everyone is just so weird. <laughs> <laughs> this is our last night in the tiny home, and I'm just chilling at my favorite spot one of my favorite spots honestly this whole house is my favorite spot but this is especially my favorite spot it's just so unique we're gonna make some hot chocolate with these cute little marshmallows and play cards against humanity i've heard great things i've never played so it should be fun it says a party game for horrible people so it's fitting for you <laughs> <laughs> all right you want one or two one okay Let's I see. hope it doesn't sink. Here, you take yours. I mean, that's the whole purpose. Because I want it sink. to. I want to take a boomerang. What never fails to liven up the party. I don't want to put this answer, but like this is the best I have. I'm I'm embarrassed by this, but it's the best I have. No, you have to read it. Your the cards are. All right. So her answer is, Miley Cyrus at fifty five. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's good. Yeah. But you ready? Go. What never fails to li to liven up a party? The rhythm of Africa. Come on, Afrobeat. Come on. Come on. That was Tice. good. Yeah, mine was Tice. lame. I don't like Miley Tice. Cyrus. No one so. likes Miley Cyrus. You you got that one. <laughs> you get an awesome point. Woo! The format of spectacular abs. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Tice. Tice. <laughs> Everyone in America deserves great abs. <laughs> that was good. Did you get an awesome point. <laughs> of course. That was good. So we're just getting ready to pack up. This is our last morning in the tiny home. Um, and it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, like this experience was the best experience I could ask for. But so we're packing up now. We are going to go on a little walk around the property one last time, maybe do a little sledding, and then we are on to our next adventure. So thank you all for tuning in. And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, um, share it with your friends, subscribe if you're new here. Um, if you feel led to, no pressure. And we'll see you next time. Peace, Kanash. Saying goodbye to our tiny. Bye, tiny. Say bye. Bye, tiny. Bye, tiny. Oh, that's the name, right? I don't know. Yeah, that's the name. Tiny. Yeah, they call it the tiny. Bye, tiny.